Short form video content brings out an interesting side in people. And I should know, I make a fair bit of it. But it was only recently that I started browsing guitar content on TikTok. And let me tell you, there's some absolute nuttiness going on over there. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of the craziest guitar stuff I found on TikTok and passing along my thoughts and feelings about it. Before we get to it, I'll quickly let you know that this video is brought to you by my patrons at patreon.com slash samuraiguitarist. Making videos as a full-time job has some serious ups and downs, and at times it can be rather tough to navigate. Patreon is an online tip jar of sorts, and getting involved over there goes a long way in keeping things stable, leveling things out, and allowing me to get videos like this one out regularly. There are three tiers that you can get involved in offering a number of different rewards. Patreon is and will continue to be a big part of what I do going forward. To find more information, head over to patreon.com slash samurai guitarist. I'll also put a links in the description. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, first off, we've got a video that was posted by Kobe Person. It's got a whole lot of views, a whole lot of likes. Uh, let's break down the scene here. We've got four gentlemen standing around a garbage can holding a guitar, as well as what looks like a baby panda. Let's see what they get up to. All right, lads, what are we up to here? Spraying spray paint into a bucket. This poor raccoon just got crop dusted with spray paint wafts over and over again. If you're gonna do dumb stuff, maybe just leave the pet at home. Right now we are dipping the guitar. Oh, you guys didn't even take the strings off. <laughs> Let alone the hardware. This is gonna be an absolute mess. It's just gonna be caked onto everything. This is a case of DI, why the f are you doing this? And where is this lad's t-shirt? Okay, well, apparently the results are over on his Instagram, so I got some morbid curiosity to see how horrible this actually did turn out. Okay, I've gone through all his stories, scrolled through all his posts, and there isn't anything about this guitar. All I'm finding are just a whole bunch of shots of him without his shirt on flexing. Maybe this was his plan all along. Poison his overgrown skunk, ruin his guitar so that people would go to his Instagram and check out his six pack. Touche. Okay, next up we've got John Doretto, pretends to be a beginner and then shredding. I've seen this guy on Instagram before. He's insanely good. Let's see what he gets up to here. I mean, you gotta think that the salesman knows something is up. After all there is, a guy filming this whole thing like six feet away. Like this, okay. Is it in tune? Have you ever used one of these? Uh, no. kind of read, but pick right in between. Oh yeah, here he goes. Yeah, he's shredding. I'm probably just projecting here, but if I was working in a guitar store, which I did at one point, that look to me says, why are you doing this to me? I'm just trying to do my job here. Wow, one week. The joke here, I guess, is supposed to be the employee's reaction as he figures out that this guy who's supposedly a beginner is actually insanely good. I guess I just have an issue making an unwilling participant the punchline of your joke when it's really not that funny to begin with. I worked in a guitar store. I made $9.50 an hour, and if some famous TikToker turned me into a meme in front of his millions upon millions of followers, I don't know, it just doesn't really sit that great with me. Or maybe everyone yucked it up after and loved every second of it, and I'm just a grouchy ass who's been cooped up too long, dealing with minus 40 weather, 144 centimeters of snow, and the goddamn depressing state of the world lately has finally gotten to me. That certainly could be the case. Okay, next up we got that grouchy asshole from YouTube who kind of looks like Mulan and Steve Aoki's long lost son. Let's see what he's up to. People find out I'm a dad, they ask me if my son's a musician too. <laughs> Hell yeah he is. Now that, my friends, is some high quality content. I'm just kidding around. I know that's me. I just want to share with you guys that wonderful video of my little son, who is the human incarnate of a Tasmanian devil. Oh, and by the way, I'm well aware that my video quality was absolutely terrible, but I've since fixed it. All right, while we're doing videos of dads and their kids, let's do this guy with his baby. This is an absolutely adorable video of this kid mashing these strings. It says in the description, somebody sample this. 
Don't mind if I do. Moving on, we've got my guy Jordan.Wave here who shows some 20 million people what it sounds like to run your guitar through water. Okay. Running my guitar through water. So you got the clean tone, no water. Engages this thing which sends a signal through the water. And that's what it sounds like. All right, well, it's clearly a joke. You can run your guitar through anything that conducts a current and unless there's like a circuit in there, it's not gonna randomly add some modulation effect. If anything, it might just drop the volume a bit. I can prove this to you because I've got a signal diverter guitar pedal which allows you to run your guitar through anything. Let's run this experiment and see what it sounds like through water. Here's a clean sound. And here's what it sounds like if I run my guitar through a glass of water. Ooh, now we got a video of Kingfish Ingram. This guy is the definition of blues tastiness. Okay, hang on here. I gotta steal all these licks. That is TikTok guitar insanity, but in the best kind of way. And did you know Rod Stewart's on TikTok? Let's see what he gets up to. Oh, and by the way, I changed the audio in the video you're about to see. It was originally Rod's song, Do You Think I'm Sexy? I didn't want my video to get claimed, so I recreated the audio as to what I think it may have sounded like. Check it out. <laughs> All right, moving on, there is a weird amount of videos of ladies putting glitter in their guitar sound holes. I don't really know what's up here. Here's an example. And if you're wondering how you too can do this, this girl gives you a tutorial. Lock your phone in your guitar, dip your hands in glitter, Lightly tap the strings multiple times <laughs> and then pretend you're putting salt in your marinara sauce. It just seems kind of pointless. Not quite the level of hydro dipping your guitar with your shirtless pals and weird looking pet pointless. It's still pretty pointless. I mean, how annoying is it to fish a pick out of an acoustic guitar? Getting glitter out of a guitar? I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. All right, let's do one more. There are tons of reactions to DJ Khaled's infamous acoustic guitar solo. If you haven't seen that video, let's do a quick catch up. This guitar inspired songs that help unite the world and we hope it gives you inspiration as well. So DJ is struggling quite a bit here, but approaching this with all the confidence in the world, which you gotta admire at some level, but you ever wondered what it might sound like if DJ's confidence matched his skills? Hmm. Unite the world, and we hope it gives you inspiration as well. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, my reactions to some TikTok guitar insanity. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Maybe I'll do it again, and you can tag me in any crazy guitar videos you come across on the internet. 
um, as I would definitely prefer not to spend hours upon hours scrolling through TikTok again. And if you like what I do here and you like to get more involved, please consider heading over to my Patreon page. Support people like you goes a long way in keeping these kind of videos coming out regularly. Thank you all for watching and an extra big thank you to everyone who already supports my channel through Patreon. If you want to check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and stay tuned for a wide range of music related content. Till next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Sam Ray Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.